Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing an update video. So I made a video about three months ago and it was how to propagate in perlite. So these have been <laughs> sitting in perlite um, under a grow light for about three months and um, I wanted to give you a little update how it worked and how everything went. <laughs> have the Brazil philodendron and I have the neon pothos one in each right away this is the neon pothos you can see the roots very well through the glass and on the Brazil philodendron you can't see them as well I don't know if the camera will pick them up but they're very fine so now I'm just gonna pull them out the only thing that I did while these were sitting in perlite was every time I noticed the water was all the way at the bottom I would just fill it up about halfway and everything just seemed to be fine I did put two cuttings in each vessel when I started this project and this one only has one because one of them didn't make it but with that being said this whole section right here is brand new it only had this so this has grown quite a bit and with the Brazil philodendron this guy has grown quite a bit as well about all of that new growth at the top but it's not in the best condition this one definitely is in a better condition so let's take them out of the vessel and see what's going on all right so let's start with the brazil philodendron and i'm just going to gently pull them out so this one never died but it has absolutely no roots there are no roots on this cutting which is kind of shocking i'm not sure how it's survived but I am just going to I think put it in some water now and then the other cutting here I believe has pretty good roots I've never taken out this might be messy um, perlite this might be messy um, perlite is very very messy oh wow Wow, look at those healthy roots. Holy macaroni. Okay, I'm just gonna try to clean off the perlite as best as I can. Wow, these are stunning, you guys. Look at those white, gorgeous roots. I'm shook. So this was the Brazil philodendron. Such a pretty color. I just can't get over these roots. So we will just put those over to the side and clean up as best as you can. Now let's move on to the Neon Pothos. So here, like I said, there is only one, but the roots are pretty crazy. So this one might be a little bit more hard, hard to take you out. Oh no. I just broke the roots off. I'm so mad at myself. Look at this root ball and I just broke it off. I'm very upset with myself because I just wrote, broke off this root ball. Um, but I'm actually just gonna stick it right back into the pot here. Well, that's very disappointing. It will reroute. I have faith. I don't even want to post this video anymore. <laughs> oh my god, am I mad? As you guys noticed, I broke the roots off of that neon pothos and I'm very upset about it. So I kind of abruptly ended that video. So I guess this would be my outro. Yes, the experiment did work, but unfortunately, um, I broke one of them. But that Brazil philodendron is thriving. I still have it in some water. The roots look really nice. And the neon I actually did throw back into perlite. It's been about two or three weeks and no roots have grown. It was getting a mushy at the node. So I cut off that part and I put it into water. So I guess we will wait and see. But you guys, thank you for joining me and I will see you guys next time. XOXO, MM.